In the Kitchen with Daytime Blue Ridge, sponsored by FNS Building Innovations. Build smart, build right. We're at the FNS Outdoor Kitchen with Alice Smith, a registered dietitian of Alice Approved. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And I guess today we're talking about healthy seeds to keep on hand in your pantry, in your kitchen, just ready to go. Yes, absolutely. A lot of times we think about nuts. We have nuts on hand, walnuts, pecans, almonds, and we forget about seeds, but they are super nutritious, very versatile. You can throw them on salads, in smoothies, oatmeal, really anywhere. And it seems like they're just kind of an enhancement to make something a little more healthier and you don't some of them you taste some of them you really don't but they have a lot of benefits yes absolutely a lot of them you don't taste like chia seeds add a little bit of a crunch but you don't taste them and all of our seeds have healthy fats they contain healthy fats protein fiber but they all have a little something different nutrition wise that's why you want to keep your cabinet stocked with them all and you mentioned throwing them on salads you can also i'm guessing put them in smoothies yeah a lot of things a lot of things just adding a crunch and then adding that health benefit of the healthy fats your pumpkin seeds are high in zinc, which is great for immunity, so you can keep those on hand, and you really can't taste those either. Okay, and I have to ask about this. Hemp hearts, I've never heard of them. Yes, what are they and what are they good for? So hemp seeds are super high in protein and fiber and healthy fat, so you can't taste those either. I love to throw those in smoothies and it adds a lot of nutrition without altering the taste. What's your go-to seed, like if you're just trying to enhance a meal or a salad, what's your go-to? Well, I think sunflower seeds are what everyone's familiar with. Those are always in the cabinet. I love having those on salads, but I also love chia seeds. So chia seeds are actually, actually hydrophilic, so they gel up in liquid. So you can make chia seed pudding and it's a great alternative from yogurt. So they don't let it scare you, but if you put it in the liquid and let it sit, it will make a gel consistency. And some things I feel like you just need a little extra crunch. You just are like missing yes. that crunch and stuff like this is perfect. Yes. Just throw in there to get that yes, feeling. Yes, absolutely. Okay, flax seeds. So there's a trick with flax seeds. Yes. Flax seeds are super nutritious. They're great for digestion, lowering cholesterol, risk of heart disease, but you wanna buy them whole and okay. then grind them at home. I know it adds an extra step, but if you just grind them in a coffee grinder and keep them in the fridge, it will just keep that nutritional value and you can sprinkle them anywhere and you won't taste them. What kind of things would you put flax seeds in? I would put those in smoothies, in oatmeal, in hummus, in soups, and you really can't taste it. So pretty much anything. Pretty much anything. What I like about all these is it's something that you really can incorporate into pretty much any dish or yeah. smoothie or whatever you want and then these sunflower seeds you can eat them on their own oh yeah I feel like a lot absolutely. of people do that absolutely and when you're looking at seeds you want the ingredients just to be seeds and salt you don't want to have anything added any inflammatory oils you just want to have the seeds and the salt and then you can add them anywhere well, perfect so good to know kind of I, well, I learned something today good that's for sure and also something to just have on hand we really appreciate you being here and for more tips and healthy suggestions you can go to aliceapproved.com or find her on Facebook thanks again thank you